on that day we discussed about nitrogen metabolism till the biological nitrogen fixation from today we are today we discuss genetic code protein synthesis phytohormones and also crop improvement we all know the total protein synthesis is controlled by dna as central dogma dna has nitrogen bases the sequence of amino acids in protein is exactly equal to the sequence of amino acids in or the sequence of amino acids in protein is exactly equal to the sequence of nitrogen bases in dna this is called genetic code genetic code has different properties genetic code is degenerative genetic code is universal genetic code is commonless genetic code is a triplet code genetic code is non overlapping genetic code is universal genetic code <coughs> with initiatory codons and genetic code with terminatory codons then after genetic code we discuss protein synthesis transcription translation formation of messenger rna from dna is transcription formation of a long polypeptide chain of amino acids on the surface of ribosomes with the help of codons present on mrna is called translation there are so many steps in this and after that we discuss phytohormones like auxins zibberlin cytokinin sapsisic acid ethylene photoperiodism vernalization and crop improvement <coughs> introduction selection hybridization polyploidy or mutation breeding and polyploidy breeding we discuss these chapters in the form of important questions so first question study the following list and select the correct match ggg codes for glycine in all organisms a particular codon will be code for the same amino acid an amino acid is specified by more than one codon <coughs> no individual nucleotide in between triplet codes degeneration of genetic code genetic code is commonless genetic code is universal genetic code is triplet code genetic code is non ambiguous this is regarding the properties of genetic code answer is 2 a3 ggg codes for glycine in all organisms show that genetic code is universal b5 a particular codon is code for the same amino acid genetic code is non ambiguous a particular codon will code for the same amino acid is genetic code is non ambiguous c4 an amino acid is specified by more than one codon genetic code is triplet code an amino acid is specified by more than one codon genetic code is triplet code no individual nucleotide <coughs> no individual nucleotide is in between triplet codes is genetic code is commonless that means no punctuations are used in between genetic code so for this the answer is to a3 b5 c4 d2 now identify the correct match from the following list uuu agu uaa uga these are on one side a codon is given on the other side to which amino acid this particular codon belongs or this particular codon codes for which amino acid identify the correct match a is always one u u u code for phenyl alanine u u u code for phenyl alanine a g u codes for serine serine is coded by six codons u c a u c c u c g u c u a g a a g u all these six codons this is called genetic code is degenerative one amino acid coded by more than two codons so a g u codes serine then U A A U A A U A G U G A are nonsense codons which are also called ochre and amber. So here O A A sorry U U A U A A is ochre, U G A is amber, U G A is opal, U G A is opal. So answer is two, A one, B three, C two, D five. U G A is opal, U A G is amber. U A G U A A is ochre, so U U U phenylalanine, A G U serine, U A A ochre, U G A opal. Here U A G is not given, which is amber. So A one, B three, C two, D five. This is the correct match regarding codons. Then study the list, following list, and identify the correct match. Template for translation: cytosol, charged amino acid A U G. storehouse of inactive amino acids first codon of mrna in 5 prime 3 prime and first codon of mrna in 3 prime 5 prime and messenger rna amino acyl trna complex template for translation template for translation 
is fourth one messenger rna all the codons necessary for translation are present on messenger rna then b1 cytosol storehouse of inactive amino acids all inactive amino acids are present in the cytosol they get activated in the presence of amino acyl synthetase and then attached to their own tRNA to form amino acyl tRNA. Then C5, charged amino acid. Every charged amino acid is popularly called amino acyl tRNA complex. Amino acyl tRNA complex. AUG, first codon of mRNA from 5 prime to 3 prime because protein synthesis always occurs from 5 prime to 3 prime, not 3 prime to 5 prime. So, template for translation is messenger RNA. Cytosol is the storehouse of inactive amino acids. Charged amino acid is amino acyl tRNA complex. AUG is first codon on 5 prime to 3 prime N. So, A4, B1, C5, D2. This is a matching regarding protein synthesis and genetic code. This is another three column tabular form. Translocase, chain elongation, shifting amino acyl tRNA to P site. Amino acyl tRNA to P site. Then EFT, elongation factor, chain elongation, binding amino acyl tRNA of A site. Binding amino acyl tRNA of A site. RF1, RF2 chain termination binding amino acyl tRNA at A site. RF1, RF2 does not help in binding of amino acyl tRNA at A site. Initiation factor 1 and 2 chain initiation is correct, but A day binding of A site to P site is wrong. So, here translocase chain elongation shifting of amino acyl tRNA to P site is correct. EFT chain elongation binding of amino acyl tRNA of A site is correct. So, here answer is 1, 1 and 2. Next, the another 3 column tabular form. Event of protein synthesis, enzyme required for that function. Transcription, the enzyme useful for transcription is RNA polymerase correct. Formation of polyribonucleotides nothing but formation of messenger RNA correct. Activation of amino acid, amino acyl synthetase formation of charged tRNA, formation of charged tRNA, activation of amino acid, amino acyl synthetase formation of charged tRNA correct. Chain elongation, peptidyl transferase, peptide bond formation. So, pep chain elongation always occurs with the help of an enzyme peptidyl transferase formation of or polypeptide formation, chain termination, peptidyl transferase, polypeptide release. The same enzyme peptidyl transferase which helps in the formation of peptide bond between amino acid helps also to break the ester bonds between uh, peptidyl tRNA and long polypeptide chain of amino acids. So, here the correct combinations are 1, 2, 3, 4. Transcription RNA polymerase formation of polyribonucleotides is correct. Activation of amino acid, amino acyl synthetase, formation of charged tRNA is correct. Chain elongation, peptidyl transferase, polypeptide formation is correct. Chain termination, peptidyl transferase, polypeptide release is correct. So, all the four are correct. So, fifth question answer is four. One, two, three, four. Another three column tablet. Codon, coding amino acid, common name. AUG, codon. Coding amino acid is always methionine. Common name is starting codon is correct. UAA, serine, sense codon is wrong. UAA does not code for any amino acid because it is a nonsense codon or terminatory codon. It is not a sense codon, it is nonsense codon. UAG, coding amino acid, there is no coding amino acid for UAG. Amber, amber is correct because UAG is called as amber. CCU, lysine, sense codon. CCU is definitely coding for lysine. And it is a sense codon. So, which of choose the two correct options? CCU does not code for lysine. Now, answer is 1 and 3. AUG methionine starting codon, UAG no amino acid coding, and amber. So, 1 and 3, fourth option is correct. Another four column tabular form. Stage of protein synthesis, form of energy really utilized, and factors. 
transfer of amino acid to the site of protein synthesis transfer of amino acid to the site of protein synthesis form of energy utilized is atp factors will not be there factors will not be there chain initiation atp initiation factor 3 correct chain elongation gtp elongation factor t chain elongation gtp correct but initiation factor T is wrong, initiation, elongation factor T is wrong, here elongation factor G. Chain termination GTP releasing factor 2, releasing factor 2 is correct but GTP is wrong, why because in chain termination GTP is not utilized. So correct answers are transfer amino acid to the site of protein synthesis, ATP factors, no factors and chain elongation GTP elongation factor T, so 1 and 3 are correct, fourth option is correct for this. Identify the false statement from the following. <coughs> Amino acyl tRNA <coughs> is converted to peptidyl tRNA at P site. Amino acyl tRNA is converted into peptidyl tRNA once it moves from A site to P site. All codons are translated by one tRNA molecule. Peptidyl transferase releases the polypeptide chain from peptidyl tRNA is correct. RF1, RF2 of A site are released by RF3 correct. So here all codons are translated by one tRNA molecule is wrong. The answer must be all codons are translated by one mRNA molecule, not tRNA molecule. So, second option is correct. Second option is a false statement in this. Study the following list, it is a matching one. These are all for protein synthesis and genetic code. Formyl methionine tRNA, UAC anticodon, 50S subunit loose hydrogen bonds, two binding sites, initiator of amino acyl tRNA, amino acid with tRNA between codons and anticodons, initiator amino acid tRNA and between amino acids of polypeptide chain A2, formyl methionine tRNA is initiator amino acyl tRNA, always methionine in Escherichia coli, the amino group is replaced by formyl group, so it is called formyl methionine tRNA. This formyl methionine tRNA is always attached and initiator amino acyl tRNA. Then B4, UAC anticodons. UAC anticodons are forming bonds between amino acids of polypeptide chain. So UAC anticodons between amino acids of polypeptide chain. 50S subunit. 50S subunit is two binding sites. So 30S and 50S are connected by Magnesium ion, it is two binding site, loose hydrogen bonds, loose hydrogen bonds between codons and anticodons. Loose hydrogen bonds are always formed between codons and anticodons. After the formation of hydrogen bonds only initiatory complex is formed. Then a larger subunit goes and attach with two sites, A site and P site, protein synthesis takes place. So fourth option. When a translated mRNA molecule has 300 ribonucleotides. 300 ribonucleotides. what is the number of amino acids and peptide bonds present in the polypeptide chain synthesized from it, 300 by 3, 100, one nonsense codon must be removed, so 99 amino acids and 98 peptide bonds will be there, so when a translated messenger RNA molecule has 300 ribonucleotides, what is the number of amino acids and peptide bonds present in the polypeptide chain synthesized from it, 300 by 3 because 3 nitrogen bases code for 1 amino acid, 3 ribonucleotides code for 1 amino acid, so 300 by 3 will be 100, 1 nonsense codon is not coded by any anticodon or something like that, so here you have to write the number of amino acids will be 99, every time in between 2 amino acids one peptide bond is formed, so in between 3 amino acids 2 peptide bonds, so number of amino acids, number of peptide bonds, number of peptide bonds are always 1 less to the total number of amino acids participated, so answer is 99 amino acids and 98 peptide bonds, third one. <coughs> An mRNA molecule with 280 codons is translated into a polypeptide chain during protein synthesis. How many GTP, how many ATP and GTP molecules are consumed <coughs> during its translation? 280 codons means 280 amino acids, 280 amino acids means 280 ATP, all the amino acids will take ATP, then 2N minus 2, 2N minus 2 means 280 into 2, 560 minus 2, 560 minus 2 will be 558, so answer will be 280 and 557, 
So, first option will be the answer 300 and 600 will be wrong. Now, study the following table with reference to translation. This is a three column tabular form. Enzyme tranquilizers present in or on nucleo present in and function. Study the following table with reference to translation and identify the correct combination. Translocase enzyme is present in nucleoplasm, it is not helping in mRNA synthesis. Translocase does not help in mRNA synthesis. mRNA synthesis is helped by RNA polymerase. Peptidyl transferase cytoplasm peptide bond formation. Peptidyl transferase present in the cytoplasm is wrong. It is present in the P site, peptidyl site of larger subunit of ribosomes. Peptidyl transferase P site of 50 S subunit. Peptidyl transferase is always present in the P site of a 50 S subunit. Release of polypeptide chain from tRNA. It not only helps in the peptide bond formation, but also helps in the release of polypeptide chain from tRNA. Amino acyl synthetase cytoplasm, amino acyl tRNA formation. So, translocase present in the nucleoplasm, mRNA synthesis is wrong. Peptidyl transferase present in cytoplasm itself is wrong, but peptide bond hydrolysis is also wrong. Peptidyl transferase present in the P site of 50 S subunit, present in the P site of 50 S subunit, release of polypeptide chain from tRNA is correct. Amino acyl synthetase present in the cytoplasm helps in amino acyl tRNA formation is correct. So, answer for this is 3 and 4. In this 3 column tabular form, the correct answer is 3 and 4. Third option. Peptide bond is formed always between amino group of amino acid in P site with carboxyl group of amino acid in A site. Carboxyl group of amino acid in P site with amino group of amino acid in A site. Carboxyl and alcohol group of two amino acids. Amino group and alcohol group of two amino acids. A peptide bond is always formed. Every amino acid has a carboxyl group and an amino group. A carboxyl group and an amino group. Whenever this will be in P site and this is a new amino acid brought in A site. So, this is present in P site and new amino acid always is brought in A site. Peptide bond is always formed in between carboxyl group of one amino acid and amino group of another amino acid. So, carboxyl group present in P site and amino group of amino acid present in A site. So, peptide bond formation always occurs, always occurs in between this is the second option carboxyl group of amino acid in P site with amino group of amino acid in A site, carboxyl group of amino acid in P site with amino group of amino acid in A site, peptide bond formation occurs. Whenever peptide bond formation occurs, one water molecule is released out and the enzyme useful here is peptidyl transferase. Enzyme useful here is peptidyl transferase present in the P site of the larger subunit 50 Yes. So, peptide bond is formed always between carboxyl group of amino acid in P site with amino group of amino acid in A site, second option. Enzymes necessary for translation process in protein synthesis, for translation process in protein synthesis. RNA polymerase helps in transcription, RNA polymerase helps in transcription that is DNA when converted into messenger RNA, RNA polymerase or transcription play, transcriptase plays an important role. Amino acyl synthetase, peptidyl transferase, DNA polymerase. DNA polymerase helps in autocatalysis of DNA that is the formation of new DNA from old DNA. So, enzymes necessary for translation process of protein synthesis are amino acyl synthetase which is useful to activate amino acids, peptidyl transferase which is useful not only to formation of peptide bond but also removal of polypeptide chain from the peptidyl tRNA present in the P site in the last step. So, translation useful enzymes are amino acyl synthetase and peptidyl transferase 2 and 3. tRNA molecule with the following anticodons cannot exist in the cytoplasm of living cells, cannot exist in the cytoplasm of living cells UAA, UAG, UGAR, nonsense codons. 
nonsense codons. These do not have anticodons like AUU, AUC, AGU, ACU. So, tRNA molecule with the following anticodons cannot exist in the cytoplasm AUU, AUC, ACU. Here the answer is given as 2, but it is not 2, it is 3. tRNA molecule with following anticodons cannot exist in the cytoplasm are UAA, UAG, UGA are nonsense codons. The absent are AUU, AUC, ACU. It is not UUC, UGU, it is AUU, AUC, ACU. Coming to one assertion reasoning. Genetic code is universal. Genetic code is universal. The same genetic code is applied in all living organisms. Reason. For example, AUG. AUG is the initiatory codon which codes for methionine in unicellular organisms, in multicellular organisms, in human beings, in plants, in animals, wherever protein synthesis is taking place. AUG always codes for methionine and it is regarded as initiatory amino acid. So, genetic code is universal. Genetic code is universal. The same genetic code is applied for all living organisms. Why genetic code is universal? Because the same genetic code is used or applied for all living organisms. So, A and R are correct. R is the correct explanation of A. A and R are correct. R is the correct explanation of A. Next. Another assertion reason. Genetic code is degenerative code. Genetic code is degenerative code means 64 codons, 20 amino acids participate in protein synthesis. That means one amino acid can be coded by 2 or 3 or more than 2 codons. That is called more than 2 or 3 or codons. That is called genetic code is a degenerative code. Some codons of genetic code identify more than one type of amino acids. Some codons of genetic code identify more than one type of amino acid is wrong. One amino acid can be coded by more than 2 or 3 or 4 codons. So, A is true, R is false. The property of genetic code which depicts that amino acid is amino acid serine is coded by more than one codon UCU, UCC, UCA, UCG, AGA, AGU all these code for serine. So, the property of genetic code which depicts, which proves, which says that amino acid serine is coded by more than one codon is genetic code is degenerative. Genetic code is non-ambiguous, not genetic code is universal is wrong. Genetic code is comma less means in between the nitrogen bases in a codon no punctuation is used. That is u comma a comma c u full stop c full stop c nothing is written in between them. So, that is genetic code is comma less. Genetic code is universal previously we discussed. Any organism a code, codon code for the specific amino acid. So, genetic code is degenerate. Amino acid serine is coded by more than one codon. Arrange the events of translation in a sequence. Arrange the event of translation means roll off IF1 first. Roll off IF1 first because IF1, IF2, IF3 helps in attaching the 30 s subunit of ribosome to messenger RNA. First 30 s subunit combines with IF 3, then these two combines with IF 1, then these combines with IF 2 and GTP. Then only a 30 s subunit goes and attaches to messenger RNA from 5 prime to 3 prime. So, roll of IF1 is first. Then roll of EFT. EFT always takes activated amino acid to vacant A site. First amino acid is always present in the P site. From second amino acid onwards, everything goes to A site. So, for an effective protein synthesis, A site must be kept vacant. So, arrange the events in translation means first roll of IF1. Then roll of EFT, which takes the activated amino acids into the vacant A site. Then roll of EFG. EFG makes the ribosome to move. Why ribosome moves? Translocation. Ribosome moves to make the A site vacant. So, EFG last RF1, releasing factor 1, releasing factor 2, releasing factor 3. Releasing factor 1 and releasing factor 2 are identifying the nonsense codons. Releasing factor 3 identifies the releasing factor 1 and 2. So, first is roll of IF1, then is roll of EFT, 
then is roll of EFG, finally roll of RF1. So, 2, 4, 3, 1, 2, 4, 3, 1, first option, arrange the events of translation in a sequence. Study the following table and identify the correct combination. Transcription, transfer of amino acid to tRNA, initiation e codon, termination codon, amino acyl synthetase, AUG, CCA, RNA polymerase and UH. A4, transcription, RNA polymerase, RNA polymerase always helps in transcription that is the formation of messenger RNA from DNA. B1, what is B1? Transfer of amino acid to tRNA is always done by amino acyl synthetase. Transfer of activated amino acid to tRNA is done by amino acyl synthetase. C2, initiatory codon. Initiatory codon is always AUG, initiatory codon. Then D5, terminatory codon is UAG. What is this CCA here? This is the place in the tRNA where activated amino acid is attached. So, transcription, transfer of amino acid to tRNA. Initiation codon and termination codon. Transcription is RNA polymerase. Transfer of amino acid to tRNA is amino acyl synthetase. Initiation codon is AUG. Termination codon is UAG. Third option. Study the following table about translation process of protein synthesis and identify the correct combination. Initiation of polypeptide chain. Steps are step of translation process, factors involved, and event occurred. Initiation of polypeptide chain IF1, IF2, IF3 formation of initiation complex is correct. Elongation of polypeptide chain EFG and EFT. EFG helps in the translocation of ribosome making the A site vacant. What is present in the amino acyl site are transferred to peptidyl site to make the A site vacant and when vacant, vacant A site is there according to codon above the vacant A site amino acids are coded and transferred. Peptide bond formation is the event definitely occur. So, elongation of polypeptide chain EFG and EFT, peptide bond formation is correct. Chain termination RF1, RF2 and utilization of GTP, chain termination RF1, RF2 is correct, but utilization of GTP is wrong. Activation of amino acid, amino acyl synthetase translocation. Activation of amino acid is correct, it occurs in the presence of amino acyl synthetase is correct but it does not occur during translocation. Translocation is moment of ribosome. So, 1 and 2 are correct, remaining 3 and 4 are wrong. First option. If the base sequence of mRNA is a 5 prime AUG, C, CUC, AAA, UAA, 3 prime, what is the base sequence in code copy? Code copy and which is not formed which is not forming the messenger RNA. Code complement is the DNA template which has formed messenger RNA. Code copy is the DNA template which is not forming that one. So, answer is EATG, CTC, AAA, TAA because except thiamine all are present because mRNA does not contain thiamine in the place of uracil is present. So, in the code copy the strand opposite to the template strand which is already transcribed DNA, transcribed DNA into mRNA has same nitrogen bases except uracil thymine is present. So, there AUG is present, here it is ATG, there CUC is present, it is CTC, there AA are present, here also AA are present, there UAA is present, here TAA is present. So, same nitrogen base is present except uracil thymine is present. So, fifth option 5 prime to 3 prime N. During protein biosynthesis, formyl methionine in P site establishes a peptide bond with second amino acid, conversion of amino acyl tRNA to peptidyl tRNA at. So, during biosynthesis of protein, formyl methionine in P site establishes a peptide bond with second amino acid at. Second amino acid onwards, every amino acid enters A site. So, definitely peptide bond formation occurs at A site, fourth option. Identify the incorrect statement, number of tRNA is equal to the total number of codons on messenger RNA. Number of tRNA is equal to the total number of codons on messenger RNA is wrong. Number of translocation is equal to the number of peptide bond formation in polypeptide chain is correct. Whenever translocation occurs, then only peptide bond formation takes place. Number of amino acids in a polypeptide chain is equal to the total number of codons on mRNA. 
Number of ATP utilized in protein synthesis is equal to the number of amino acids is correct. So, wrong are A and C. Number of tRNA is equal to the total number of codons on mRNA. 64 codons, 64 tRNAs, tRNAs will not be there. 61 are sense codons, so 61 tRNAs participate. Number of amino acids in a polypeptide chain is equal to the total number of codons on mRNA is also wrong because total number of codons includes even nonsense codons. No amino acid is coded. So, A and C are wrong here. During protein synthesis, hydrolysis of GTP helps in the release of hydrolysis of ATP release, hydrolysis of GTP always release uh, helps in the release of elongation factor T, elongation factor G, initiation factor 3 because GTP involvement is there in initiation of polypeptide chain, elongation of polypeptide chain, initiation of polypeptide chain, initiation factor 3. Elongation of polypeptide chain, elongation factor T and elongation factor G. The termination releasing factor does not involve any GTP. So, during protein synthesis, hydrolysis of GTP helps in the release of during protein synthesis, hydrolysis of GTP helps in the release of except B remaining 3. Except B means releasing factor 2. GTP is not utilized. Identify the process which occurs in 5 prime to 3 prime direction transcription. Transcription always occurs from 5 prime to 3 prime direction, either 5 prime to 3 prime or 3 prime to 5 prime. Translation also occurs from 5 prime to 3 prime. Transcriptase, cytoplasm, synthesis of peptide bonds. Transcriptase does not help in the synthesis of peptide bonds. Transcriptase helps in the formation of messenger RNA. Peptidyl transferase, larger subunit of ribosome, peptide bond formation correct. Amino acyl synthetase ribosome activation of amino acid. Amino acyl synthetase is not present in ribosome, it is present in cytosol. So, amino acyl synthetase ribosome activation of amino acid is wrong. Peptidyl transferase larger subunit of ribosome release of polypeptide chain. So, 2 and 4, fourth option is correct, 2 and 4 are correct. This is an assertion reasoning. During transcription, there is no loss of DNA. There is transcription. There is no loss of DNA means no DNA is wasted. After transcription, sense and antisense strands again remain back to form parent DNA. At a particular place called cistron, transcription takes place and messenger RNA is formed. So, during transcription, no loss of DNA, DNA is not cut or anything. After the formation of messenger RNA, it goes out into the cytoplasm, both the DNA strands will unite. So, during transcription, there is no loss of DNA is correct. Why? After transcription, sense and antisense strand again rewind to form parent DNA, both A and R are correct. R is the correct explanation of A. <coughs> Master copy of genetic information from the following. Master copy of genetic information in the following is not protein, it is not messenger RNA, it is not transfer RNA, it is DNA. Because from there only any information is transferred to messenger RNA. Then after that messenger RNA forms codons, codons code for amino acid and protein synthesis occurs. So, master copy of genetic information from the following is DNA, fourth option. Promoter sites are specific proteins help in unwinding of DNA strands for transcription process. The place where the DNA get unwinds is promoter site. So, promoter sites are specific protein are specific proteins, promoter sites of definitely specific proteins help in the unwinding of DNA strands for transcription process correct. The DNA at promoter site gives single strands during transcription is wrong. DNA at promoter site does not give single strands, it produces only template DNA which again unite to form. So, here DNA at promoter sites gives single strand during transcription is correct, single stranded messenger RNA at form. But promoter sites are specific proteins helping in unwinding of DNA strand from transcription process is wrong. A is false, R is true. Now, those are about protein synthesis, those are about genetic code. Now, we will start with phytohormones. Which physiological functions are considered as components of triple response growth? Triple response growth is done by ethylene. Ethylene is the phytohormone which controls triple response growth. So, which physiological functions are considered as components of triple response growth is inhibiting stem elongation, inhibiting stem elongation, promoting lateral growth, lateral branches allowed to grow, 
promotes horizontal growth this is transverse zeotropism promote stem elongation is wrong inhibiting stem elongation promoting lateral growth in plants promoting horizontal growth or transverse zeotropism in plants these three are controlled by one phytohormone that is gaseous phytohormone which helps in ripening of fruits that is ethylene so three characters controlled by one phytohormone ethylene is popularly called triple response growth what are those three inhibiting stem elongation promoting lateral growth promotes horizontal growth or transverse zeotropism so 2 3 4 third option will be this one assertion reasoning hormones are chemicals that control growth hormones are definitely small chemicals or minute amounts formed at one place go to any place in the plant and show the same activity as they are showing the activity at the place of their formation so hormones are chemical that control growth is correct hormones are nutrient is wrong hormones are not nutrients they are the only chemicals which control growth development and anything so a is true r is false assertion ethylene is produced from amino acid methionine auxins are formed from tryptophan with the help of zinc ethylene is produced from amino acid methionine is correct methionine is the first amino acid in all polypeptide chains ethylene is formed from methionine amino acid is correct but not because methionine is the first amino acid in all polypeptide chains methionine is the first amino acid in all polypeptide chains is correct ethylene is produced from the methionine is correct but ethylene is not produced from the methionine because it is the first amino acid in all polypeptide chains so a and r are correct r does not explain c or r is not the correct explanation of a second option this amino acid is required for synthesis of iaa this amino acid is required for the synthesis of iaa indole 3 acetic acid natural auxin is formed from tryptophan tryptophan is the amino acid from which indole 3 acetic acid is formed it is not methionine because methionine helps in the formation of ethylene not serine not leucine it is tryptophan so tryptophan always helps in the formation of amino acid in the presence of a special mineral nutrient zinc so this amino acid is required for the synthesis of indole 3 acetic acid is tryptophan precursor compounds from which gibberellins are synthesized gibberellins are special terpenoid groups first discovered in japan where the plants are getting a peculiar disease called bakane disease or foolish seedling disease this disease is caused by a fungi called gibberella fusi kurai was proposed by sawada later kurosawa extracted the chemical and added to healthy plants proved that healthy plants also get bakane disease where enormous elongation of internodes occurs then yabuta sumuki extracted this in the form of gibberellic acids they are all called as gibberellic acid 1 2 3 4 the first gibberellic acid that is isolated and crystallized is ga3 so here precursor compound from which gibberellins are synthesized is not oxalic acid not glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate not phosphoenol pyruvic acid but acetyl coenzyme a is the main compound from where gibberellins are produced so precursor compound from which gibberellins are synthesized is acetyl coenzyme a second option this uniform the uniform flowering in a plant in which the composite fruit is developed from spike in florins can be successfully induced by there is a plant pineapple in pineapple ethylene makes all the flowers to show flowering almost at the same time when all the flowers show flowering almost at the same time fruits are also produced at the same time and commercially the plant will become valuable so pineapple plant is a plant where compound fruit sorosis is formed from spike in florins so the uniform flowering in a plant in which composite fruit what is that composite fruit sorosis is developed from spike in florins is pineapple ananas sativas can be successfully induced by so uniform flowering means synchronous flowering synchronous flowering means all the flowers show flowering almost at the same time so that 
the fruits are also produced at the same time and they are commercially valuable. It is not cytokinin, it is not abscisic acid, it is ethylene not auxins. So, ethylene makes all the flowers of pineapple to show synchronous flowering almost at the same time and the uniform flowering in a plant in which composite fruit is developed from spike inflorescence can be successfully induced by ethylene third option. A weed killer among the following weed killer is nothing but weedicide. There are two synthetic auxins there are two synthetic auxins 2 4 D 2 4 5 T 2 4 dichloro phenoxy acetic acid 2 4 5 trichloro phenoxy acetic acid these two are two special phytohormones particularly synthetic auxins which are widely used in killing weeds particularly weeds with broad leaves. Weeds with broad leaves means dicotyledonous weeds. So, dicotyledonous weeds are controlled not by indole 3 acetic acid, not by GA7, not by abscisic acid, but by 2, 4, 5 trichlorophenoxy acetic acid and another one 2, 4 dichlorophenox acetic acid 2, 4 D and 2, 4, 5 T. So, which of the following is a weed killer means 2, 4, 5 T. Presence of abscisic acid is reported in abscisic acid is reported in green algae, abscisic acid is reported in all vascular plants, abscisic acid is completely absent in bacteria, root system and bacteria do not show abscisic acid. So, presence of abscisic acid is reported in green algae in all vascular plants and its presence is completely absent in bacteria. So, answer is 1 and 3 what are those? Green algae and all vascular plants show the presence of abscisic acid. Sprouting of potatoes under storage can be delayed by pre-harvest foliar application of potatoes the stem tuber is commercially valuable. Stem tuber is transported from one area to other area even to longer distances. Whenever they are transporting or stored if the sprouting starts from the eyes, what is sprouting? Formation of new plants, vegetative propagation in potato tuber through eyes is popularly called sprouting. Suppose the sprouting starts from the eyes, those potatoes are commercially not useful. So, during transportation and storage, sprouting, formation of new plants from the eyes must be stopped. This sprouting of potatoes under storage can be delayed by pre-harvesting foliar spray of abscisic acid. <coughs> abscisic acid effectively stops the sprouting formation of new plants from eyes of potato is stopped by abscisic acid. So, ethylene wrong, cytokinins wrong, ziberlic acid wrong, everything has its own functions, ethylene helps in ripening of fruits, cytokinins delays the senescence in leaves that is called Richmond and Lang effect, Ziberlins, ziberlic acids are converting even genetically dwarf plants into tall plants, they help in germination of seeds in barley plants, they help in the formation of more number of male flowers in cucurbits, so many impart then they also help in bolting in cabbage and cauliflower. Sudden formation of gibberlins in flowering stage make the dwarf cabbage and cauliflower plants tall by internal elongation that is called bolting. So, ABA is the hormone where sprouting of potatoes under storage can be delayed by pre-harvest foliar spray or foliar application. Abscisic acid is called stress hormone. Whenever there is a water stress in plants, immediately there is a hormone formed called abscisic acid. Under stress conditions, abscisic acid concentration increases and inhibits the growth. So, whenever there is a water stress condition, the concentration of abscisic acid increases and inhibits the growth. So, abscisic acid is a stress hormone correct. Whenever stress conditions are there, abscisic acid concentration is increasing is correct. So, both A and R are correct. R is the correct explanation of A first option.